Hello, welcome back to our series of videos about the first South American online festival. And this is the analysis of the third set of the quarterfinals. In the first set, the Shagas team lost a few imps, but won a handsome 28 imps in the second set. And so they were in front by some 20 odd imps at the beginning of this third set against another strong Brazilian team. And they ended up winning 10 imps in this set, and so they qualified for the semifinals. And let's look at the swings to see what we can learn from them. And apparently I hit the wrong button here. It's a very tiny tabs. And so I deleted what I want to show, which is, let's, oh no, it's okay. Let's look at the, the first bar then. North upgraded his hand to a 15 to 17 no trumps, which was probably a fine time to do it since it hit partner with zero, a Yabro, and would certainly harm their opponents from reaching a game on 20, 26 high card points. I haven't yet analyzed to see if game makes, but probably does. Yes, it does. They make at least two spades, four hearts is six, three diamonds is nine, and one club is ten, especially played by West. Played by East, after a club lead, the Clara will have to settle for four hearts, three diamonds and two clubs. Not making any spades, but this is still nine tricks. So that was a hit for the upgrade by North. And the opponents would have trouble in reaching game after the start. And so Wes reopened with two spades, showing spades and a minor to know Trump's asks about the minor. And over three diamonds, East felt he could not move forward because West could have reopened with a quite weaker hand. So this was a very tough combination for East-West when their opponent opens one of trumps because neither of them is clearly strong enough to, to make a push for game. And they don't know that partner has a reasonable opening bid. And in three diamonds, Probably there's nothing to the play. I think North will lead the king of clubs. Yes, it is. And so he'll make only one club and two aces. He's trying to get a promotion, but the diamonds are all great for the Clara. And there's a claim. Losing one spade. Okay. At the other table. North also started with that upgrade and no trumps, but after a similar start, Diego is found a very nice three no trump bid. This depends on, as so often happens, on the agreements of your partnership about reopening standards, and also on general philosophy about stopping in a part score when you have any tiny chance of making a game even non-vulnerable. So this was a very nice result for East West here after North did its utmost to harm them as there was nothing to the play here. So let's move on to the second swing which was only a double for spades being double in one table and not at the other. Let's see what happened here. It's open one club which is either clubs or a balanced hand. In West opens, uh, responded a diamond, which is a transfer bid to hearts. North bid one spade, worthy of notice. They probably had some agreement about showing a Michael's type bid over this transfer response, but North preferred to emphasize spades over clubs, and so be the natural one spade. And East raised hearts. South raised spades, and after West preempted a little bit more, North 
invited game with a double. And South with a maximum for his single race, even though it was a not very useful maximum. Lots of queens and, and the King of Hearts probably hit in the singleton after this bidding. But he pushed the game anyway, as is his wont. And there are four top losers. And so the only thing that the defense must be careful about is to prevent a pitch of a diamond on a heart. And this Queen of Hearts was a clear message to switch to diamonds. And so there was no further problems. There were no further problems. At the other table, a weak no trump by East. Two hearts is natural and not forcing. And there was no argument for East to double for spades in this auction. Whereas at, at the other auction, there was not plenty of arguments anyway, but it's a, again a matter of individual styles. East was looking at three spades and at, at an invitational sequence over there. Here there was no invitational sequence. North beat game upon hearing the raise, the fit. So North could be quite strong and South could be quite weak. And that's basically the difference that the auctions made for the final double. At the other table, the East player, João Paulo, was looking at an invitational sequence. And so he decided to double because he had three pretty much solid tricks and a partner who had bid twice, so he could hope for another trick there. Doubles of games in imps are very frisky because the upside is big, especially vulnerable. If you defeat, if, if by chance it goes down two, you transform 200 and 500. And the downside is low because you only lose five imps if you are confident that they will not redouble. And many cases, such as in after an invitational sequence, you are confident that there will be no redouble. The next swing was a game bid at one table and going down. Well, no, it was not bid at the other. So South opened one spade with 21, but 5-4 in the majors. And not great 21. King-Queen tight of diamonds may not pull its full strength. And North passed, which probably already took them out of game. And East reopened with a normal double. South redoubled to show his great power. And North took it out to two spades, showing a fit, of course, but nothing else. No useful cards. Otherwise, he could pass one spade redoubled. And so they were in two spades. And in two spades, you lose two clubs, one diamond. And you have a difficulty in getting entries to the board. Your only clear entry is a heart rough. And when you have rough a heart, you automatically lose a trump trick to the nine of spades. So that this was a very... Let's follow the play to, to make it clear. It was a very... Well, the color didn't even try for that. He's playing only two. But at the other table, where the, the play will be four... The only chance is single king, king of spades does not help you. The only chance is 10-9 of spades tied with west and king and too low east. Let's look at the other table then. So north bid over one spade here. And after this response south was probably never going to stop on the game. East Overcall to clubs rather than double, emphasizing clubs over the bad hearts. South beat three clubs, which is probably game forcing. I don't know if they have any agreements about stopping in a part score after a Q bid. Probably not. And it's understandable, of course, you have 21 and partner responded. It's very almost impossible to stop in a part score. West double to request a, a club lead. He has Queen second. And but and perhaps North is about to bid some other suit, so 
So they will play in any other suit or, or in no trumps. Of course, if they are going to play in spades, West is about to lead, so this double is useless, but it's useful in those other cases. And so South showed his heart after the double. North preferred spades, and there they were in four spades. Let's look after the... There will be no chance even after this lead. There's be no chance even if there were 10-9 of spades tied in West because there would be a Trump promotion here. And since the defenders know that this is not the case, they are not trying for that. And the Clara tried. There was a lost trick by East West right now. East should have either cashed or not the Ace of Diamonds, but led a second club to promote the Nine of Spades. So there was some. After the Nine of Hearts lead and the Ace and the Five, the Four and the Three are missing. I think East should have understood the message they play upside down carding and he should have tried for a promotion after this ace of spades and a spade it's hard to to picture a hand in which a heart lead right now is is the best is essential for the defense so this of course it was defending four and he was already one down with the ace of diamonds so sometimes you you relax in the settings. Our next swing was seven imps for the Chagas team when they won, bid and won, part scores at both tables, with different cards, of course. In this table, West opened a normal one spade. North doubled as anyone would. Two clubs as a transfer to diamonds. Can be either a weak hand, as is the case, or a bit stronger. Two hearts is natural. Two spades, rebidding spades. And North bid three hearts over that. And there they were. And in three hearts, they're about to lose one spade, one diamond, one or two clubs. And it's conceivable, but very, very, very unlikely that they would make a, a diamond rough after a club on the lead. But this is very unlikely because West has a natural king of spades lead that may perhaps find a rough in partner's hand. There it is. So now the Claire can draw trumps and in all safely, safety, he'll win five hard tricks, drawing three and making one rough in each hand that Afterwards, five hot tricks, three diamonds is eight, the ace of spades is nine, and he'll probably make a king of clubs too to make ten tricks. No, not really, because he'll, well, he can play a club up now. Yes, he does. He still has an entry in the Jack of Diamonds. And there it is, 10 tricks for North South. And at the other table, this result seemed very natural to me. And that the main difference, the, bit, the bidding was the same here. The main difference is that North did not compete over two spades to three hearts. They probably have different standards about these two hearts free bid. And I don't think this two hearts free bid should show anything special. You have to show your suits in a competitive auction. And so I would bid two hearts even without the ace of spades if I had, for instance, a fifth heart. Only, only a queen and two jacks, but no matter. You have to bid your suits in a competitive auction. So this is a very tiny difference of judgment that results in a very big swing. Seven imps is not, nothing to be sneezed at. And in two spades, Declare has a bit more trouble, which is another argument for not raising. Declare can make only five spades guessing the spade, 
Well, if he can guess the clubs, and he probably will after the bidding, he will not be in such a bad shape. Because he'll make five spades, three clubs, and a diamond, or four spades, three clubs, and a diamond. Jack of spades ducked. Club to the queen, as I said. The ace of diamonds to pitch a heart. And then another spade. And self climbed with the ace. I don't know if north, if west would have played for the finesse. But he climbed the ace to push hearts through. Now the cleric can draw trumps and establish clubs. So he made five spades, three clubs, and one diamond, nine tricks. Our next swing is down below board number nine. Four diamonds by north, going down, and five spades at the other table. Very different evaluation level-wise. Natural one diamond by north, Natural overcall by east. Two spades is, let's say, an unusual evaluation because most players would just preempt. And two spades is a limit plus race. But South has a very nice hand indeed with avoiding spades and the uh, side ace. So it is unusual, but certainly not incorrect. And three diamonds by west is also a good spade race, so they are bidding the other the other player suits to show nice races, which is standard expert practice, of course. And now passed over one three diamonds, he could have doubled it, but he passed to show his weakest possible hand. Three spade by east and four diamonds by south, showing that he had only a limit raise. And some people would say he didn't have even that. But they're very forward, in a sense. Marcelo Branco, at least, is. And so they rested in four diamonds. And it was a pretty good evaluation by all players, because four space doesn't make. Unless the player guesses both spades and clubs right. So it's not a very... It's a very big, good game. And four diamonds will go down, losing two hearts and two clubs. The Clara will try to eliminate spades to get something going with the clubs. But since he lacks even the nine of clubs to give him a chance of only one loser there. There's no way. And everything is 3-3, so there's no way to end play anyone to not have the setting trick to cash, as happened here. At the other table, the more normal preempt by South, I would say. One diamond one spade five diamonds with an eye at the vulnerability, which is, I think, is also a very nice bid. Evaluation-wise, this hand is so strong that I understand the approach taken by South at the other table. But if you think about the tactical value of a five-diamond preempt, I think, and also, of course, you can't preempt five diamonds with a hand that won't make tricks. It's a weak in high card, but not weak in the trick-taking power. So five diamonds push them to five spades, and five spades, for sure, you can guess everything you want, but you still lose two heart, two aces in a club. There you go. So when South won the Ace of Hearts, he played clubs and so avoided a possible misguessing clubs. Our next swing, it's a tiny one, only one over trick, but it's good to look at differences like this. I think it's instructive. So the 
West open one diamond, which is shows always an unbalanced hand because balanced hands open one club. On hard three hearts is five diamonds and four hearts, but less than 15 high card points, so it's a perfect description. And there they were in three hearts, and at the other table they will stop in two hearts, which is why I focus on this swing. And does it make any difference? Not really, because there's only one spade, two diamonds, and one club to be lost. No roughs lurking anywhere else. Suits are 3-3. Three, three. So it's interesting to see why at the other table they made only eight tricks. After one diamond heart, two hearts. Let's look at the defense here. Perhaps it was something interesting. Ace of spades lead. The five of spades is discouraging. And from switch. The jack of clubs ducked. And another club to the ace. And declare notice this four and three of clubs, which is, if they are cutting honestly, uh, not number of clubs. Which is why he played another clubs without a fear for, of a rough. And then a dime. And now a spade. So the Clara was basically playing safely here because he could have played diamonds earlier when he won the first club. And he would probably end up with nine tricks in this case. Okay. Our next swing is four hearts going down, while two hearts makes at the other. So North open one no trump, seven very nice seventeen, no upgrading here. Two hearts, hearts and a minor. Two spades. A very strange bid. Perhaps an, a misunderstanding going on. Looks like it. Two no trumps asks for the minor and shows a good hand probably because he could have passed. Three spades under the impression that partner had spades, but he could not take advantage of that misunderstanding with that with that hand after partner bid to no trumps. So, of course, the best thing for East West to do would be to double them in three spades, but for that to happen, I don't know how the how are the alerts. I don't know if double by instead of to no trumps, if double by West would have been uh, take out double as I think it should be. And so, in any way, they, there they were in four hearts, only a, on a mere 5-2 fit, even though East's hand is quite powerful. They're surely going to lose Ace-King and Ace and the Trump trick. And at the other table, the bidding was more normal. So, the final swing was mostly a result of a misunderstanding by North-South. Lucky misunderstanding for them. And then there's the biggest swing of this round. Three diamonds doubled by South. Going down three. Let's see what happened here. One spade, pass two spades. Pass, pass. So, looking at what's going on so far. West opened it pretty normal spade and is offered a pretty normal raise. And then North reopened, balancing two no trumps, asking for one of the minor suits. And East smiled when he heard that because he has plenty in the minor suits. And so he's willing to, to risk doubling them, the vulnerable opponents. Unless partner, of course, is short in one of the suits, but if he is, he should take the double out. And uh, so he doubled no trumps, and they should have some mechanism here. For instance, redouble to show hearts, which is one uh, something that I do have in my regular partnerships. When you make a two-suited bid and you are doubled, the redouble shows the third suit. 
that would have saved them a double here. And they would find the best contract of three hearts, which loses only two diamonds, one's club, one spade, and one heart. Going one down, and it's it won't be doubled. So the score is up to a lack of good methods by North South after this double of two no trumps. And it must be noted that the double of two no trumps gave them this option. If you can pass with that hand, then it's almost impossible that they will reach hearts knowing what they're doing, unless South beats hearts voluntarily, but then he can hit a void or a singleton or whatever. At the other table, a weak no trump was passed out, a weak no trump with five spades. And it's a reasonable contract. A diamond lead won by the queen. So the Clara will make two diamonds, one heart, and four spades at least. And a final swing, three diamonds and five diamonds doubled. So East Open won no trumps in third position. Statement by South, by, by East, two clubs and South beat doubled. South of past the hand doubled to show clubs. And two spades, five card suit with a club stopper. And all passed, but and then pass pass and south reopened to not run, showing that he had a, a side suit beside his, his clubs. I don't know if it's specifically diamonds, but north understood it as in that way and bid three diamonds. And east perhaps should have tried three spades over that knowing that there was a 5-4 fit, if they really have this agreement and East was aware that West had shown a 5-card uh, suit. In 3 spades, they would lose 1 spade, 2 clubs, and 2 aces, going down 1. In 2 diamonds, the Clara lost only 2 diamonds and 1 spade. Let's look at it. Spade to the ace, making a heart, and a diamond to the jack. I don't like this diamond to the jack, by the way. I would much prefer him to start roughing clubs before messing with diamonds. But he lucked out. And at the other table, one spade passed two spades, and then this best hand bid four no trumps. And I, I would say probably three no trumps or two no trumps would do the trick of depicting a hand such as this. Four no trumps is really too much for a best hand. So it made their job easier. And if five diamonds is a good sacrifice over four spades, which they were not about to bid, but if they were, two no trumps or three no trumps would do the trick. So this was basically the result of the exuberance of South. And they lost a trick, right? Because, oh no, they, they made 10 tricks. 10 tricks, uh, just as the, at the other table. They were all making 10 tricks. Ace of clubs and a club rough with a 10. Yes. And so, 10 tricks were claimed, and but the swing was meant for Chagas. And that was it for this third set of the quarterfinals. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to visit www.thebridgeexperts.com for more information about all things bridge, interesting articles, some nice problems, and we are always looking for interesting new stuff to show to you to help us learn more about this wonderful game of ours of bridge. Thanks for watching and bye bye.